morning, my crafty friends. This is Lori Girl on the Ridge in my hippie, hippie cold place. It is Friday morning. I have been up since 3 o'clock, but I refuse to get out of bed until 4. I think the problem is I went to bed like at 8.41. I was sound asleep, and I didn't get up till 3, so I'm thinking I went to bed too early. <laughs> So I'm just crafting along with me. Um, I'm making envelopes. I'll show you what I did. I am using um, a new digital that I printed off, which was um, Dreams Etc. Romantic Lace. And this, they're beautiful. Let's see, where do I have it? Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I printed up some of the sheets, not all of them. So this is Dreams Etc. It's a website, and she is not on Etsy. Actually, I was looking for um, stamps, and I got stamps, but then I got sidetracked with her digitals again because I have a lot of her digitals when she first started out, and it was on Etsy. Look at how pretty that is. So these I thought were perfect for envelopes. And then I'm working on envelopes, but also yesterday before I went to work, I did all of these. Just I did some stenciling and I would have a request to show some stenciling because a couple of ladies are having trouble. So probably tomorrow over the weekend, because I noticed some of my um, paste I got was too thin. So I will show you how I thicken that up. So just, they're just ready to go. This one I already started decorating. So when I feel like I'm in the mood to decorate some envelopes, they already have um, uh, stenciling on it. And I didn't get to go to work on them. So... Let's see. As I was saying, it's Friday morning. Before I jumped. I jumped conversation. And let's see. So I'm working on these. But I want to show you one more thing. Yes, I was up at, I think, probably around 4.30. Actually cleaning my desk. And the floor. So this is the big one I'm just working on. This will be listed shortly. You can see it. It's so big. This is the three wedding dresses. And it's going to have, it's, like I said, it's big paper. And I'm leaving the pages big. And I got some of Jen, um, Dreams, etc. in there. And then I'm just making some. It's going to be very girly. Let's see. Can you see it all? It's hard to even get it all in. And just, I'm just edging it right now. It's going to be crooked, messy. These are two of the envelopes that will go in it so far. And then there's going to be at least two um, wedding dress. I'm going to do the back. Wedding dress material envelopes to go with it. This is going to be a big set. This is going to be a little little more pricier than my other ones so this is my fun and Jen your custom order will be similar to this cover not so big because this will be too hard to ship over um, international but it'll be the same same type <clears throat> so we got that so back to the envelope so how's everyone doing it is yeah, we're supposed to have it really cold for a while. Oh, and then in the back here. This this is for an envelope set. And I'm hopefully going to get that. Um, I just pulled the little buttons, you know, practicing my slow stitching. And then this, I was just watching um, Anne, the challenge. And it was like hexagons, making round... Um, round hexagons on a material so I will try that tonight that'll be a fun 
fun little sewing project. As I'm sure I'm watching another uh, um, Western. Yeah, we're just going to cut some of this. And we'll just kind of... Well, maybe go. The corner is so... Hmm. No, I don't like the corner. So we will take the corner away. Still don't like it. So we'll just take a little snippet. I think that's better. I just wanted a little piece of the envelope. There we go. There we go. Let's see. What else? Um, still waiting for my sewing stamps. They were a little behind. I'm hoping to get my sewing, my stamps out. I know I have some, just to play around with them. And my little seam binding. Oh, I got a little piece right here and a little piece of pink one. I got seam binding and sorry silk. And we are just go on the bottom because it's where the little barcode is. And I don't like that. So, so for a couple strips, and then I'll get my little Maggie spatula. I've seen some pictures of your guys' chunky books. Very nice. This just helps to keep the glue off your fingers and it just presses it down. And these are just a dollar store little spatulas. Okay, I think I'm not. Nah. Hmm, I put it full. I think. We can I do this without it pulling? <laughs> Maybe not. Let's try it again. Should be able to. Let's see if I put a knot first. There we go. And then we'll just put some extra glue. What else do we want to do? I look back like that. I did have a little piece of, let's see. <clears throat> Her paper is so beautifully collaged. Even this out. 
and we'll just do a little. I'm quiet today. So everybody got planned for their wonderful weekend. Like I said, we got all not yeah, snow, cold, nothing really overly exciting. That's for sure. Good time to craft. And sewing. I think on my to-do list, I want some crafts. Um, right here is too plain. Um, some fabric covers of all this material I have. Oh, right here. This is a little piece of rice paper. So let me get this. I'm going to put it right there because, let me grab my medium. Okay. And I brush that. This is just gel medium. Oh, See, I gotta clean the ridges off. Oh. See, I bet you Maggie just could pop her top off. <laughs> I'm gonna put it right over that. See, when, even though I stencil these, I'm not gonna worry. It's not gonna stop me from putting something somewhere. You just go over it, and it's still gonna add just maybe a little more texture. The rice paper should go right over it when it dries. Then when it dries, I'll ink it up and you won't even see it. So that's just a little, I just had this little tiny piece. I'll put some over here. Like I said, then when you ink it, I'll add more ink. Everything just flows in together. Oh, that's a piece of hair. So. And I'm sure I'll put a little more material and a piece of... Um, Not a piece of paper clip. Not a piece. A pa rusty paper clip. Here we can. <laughs> Let's put that back here. Ink, or I'll even take my stencil and use the shaded, use the ink with it instead of the modeling paste. Boy, I cannot do something and think at the same time. And I have to take a little of this. I color this just a tad. So this is that flamingo pink that I got. And I love. Love, love, love. All right, I already got brown on here, so I might have pushed the color. I might have to go over it with white. I think I overdid that. But that's okay. You see the pink, but it's not exactly... What I'm looking for. Well, maybe when it dries, we'll see. We shall see. Again, I think I, I put too many colors on already. And just soften the white a little. 
because I can't never have too much pink. Alrighty. So once I get my things in the envelopes, they'll look pretty. Okay. And this, like these, probably... What I'll do, I'll fold it first to get see what I can get in there first. Especially when I print it out just for this reason. But I knew I was going to cut it up. I'm not going to use it for a book right yet. So let's see if I can get her in here. Maybe. Oh no, she's good. I can cut this a little more in the bottom. And then we can slip her in. Very pretty. And then I can cut this off and use it for something else. And I just might leave that. Well, let's see. Because this is, doesn't have a flap on it. No, it wouldn't be easier measuring. I can guarantee it. For me, it would not be easier measuring. Alrighty. Oh, that's pretty. So, I love these windows. Love them, love them, love them. Well, actually, we can stick this. Right in this window, and then we'd have the pretty pink. There you go. So, add a little more little things, fill them up, and there you go. Alrighty, guys. So, I guess I gotta get ready now. And um, I'll be back this weekend, and I will show you Miss Debbie. And um, there's some other ones about the. I didn't forget you about stenciling with the modeling paste and if it's too thick if it's too thin so i shall see you later bye guys have a beautiful day bye